in, honey. You need to get some rest. I know, I just... My mind is just not working right. It's, uh, I don't Look, know what... you'll figure it out. You just need to take your time. Things will get better. There's some company out there waiting to hire you, and once you get back into work, you can go ahead and put this behind you. I know, uh, but I'm not worried about a job or about work or anything like that anymore. I just, I'm just so glad that I have you and little Josh. I don't know what I would do without you guys. I know I've been lost and I've been distant and I just have been totally... Daddy? Daddy? What, buddy? Come on, you know Daddy hasn't been feeling very well. He needs his rest. But Daddy hasn't told me a story in a long time. No, you need to get to sleep. It's okay. I can tell him a story. Besides, he'll probably fall asleep real fast anyway. No scary parts? No scary parts. All right. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. How about a story with Daddy in it? And uh, does that sound good? All right. Once upon a time, there were three friends named Brian and Vince and Jason. Well, Brian was having some really tough times. And then he had this crazy idea that he wanted to go try to find some gold. I've never really written a story before, although I make up stories to tell my son all the time. I guess I should start by developing the characters. I'll start with Brian. Brian wasn't always having tough times. In fact, things were great for him for a while. He had a good job, lots of perks, money in the bank, great family, and uh, lots of friends. He had a lot going for him. Hey guys, Scott, <laughs> staying all up? night or hey. what? No, are we the last ones here? I'm just messing with you, Brian. We just haven't had a chance to come over here and say hello. Oh, hey, you remember uh, my friend Vince and Jason, right? My buddies? Yeah, I've seen How's you guys going? around. Single, right? Lots of fine ladies here tonight. There is. <laughs> Actually, I'm getting married in a few weeks. Oh, sucks for you. <laughs> like I was saying, lots of fine ladies here tonight. Scott, get your butt over here and help clean oh. up. Oh. <laughs> Better go help the wife clean up. You guys stay as long as you like, okay? All right. Thanks, take care. Thanks, man. So where's the little guy? Uh, we got a sitter tonight. Is she hot? She's 15. Well, I might not be married in the next three years. You're such a piece of trash. What? I'm <laughs> kidding, man. Relax. Just because you're getting married doesn't mean you have to go and bring me down, too. I haven't even seen you with a real woman before. <laughs> it's sad. Being married is the coolest thing, man, next to being a dad. You can't knock it. Seriously, you can't knock it. I mean, look at them over there. Uh, it's beautiful. You just know. And if you want it to last, you just can't let things become more important than the most important things in life. You know, like family, friends. You guys remember Christine, right? Oh my I used gosh. To date that was in high school. Are you still on that? What? Jesse. Jesse from college. I dated Jesse in college. Remember? She was a she man. She's probably tougher <laughs> than you. I want to talk about our next adventure. When's the next trip we're going on? I don't know. I mean, nothing big. I, I got to pay off this wedding. Yeah, and I'm not raking in the dough working for Mr. Vince at the theater. I'm not giving you a raise either, so don't ask. It's cold. Uh, how about like a week-long cruise, somewhere exotic? Sounds good. And if Mr. Vince doesn't hook you up, I will. I got a sweet pay raise coming real soon. Cool then. We'll plan it out. Let's do it. All right, but before we get out, I'd like to propose a toast. Ding, 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 ding. Everyone, attention. I would like to propose a toast to my good friend Vince and his lovely wife-to-be, Lori.
Hey, Brian. Oh, hey. Can I talk to you in my office for a minute? Yeah, sure. Uh, just give me a sec. Okay. Be right there. Brian, come on in. Why don't you have a seat, please? What can I do for you? Well, because of the slowing of the economy, we've had to make changes here in the company. Yeah, sure. Well, with our recent downsizing, we thought we would have rebound by now, but so far it hasn't been enough. What are you talking about? I thought that our department was going to be fine, that we wouldn't be affected by any of this. I hate telling you this, Brian, but it's worse than corporate thought. Now they're cutting our department, too. Well, I'm one of the top guys. I mean, I'm, one of, I'm good, right? Tell me I'm good. I know. Unfortunately, it's all about seniority. You know that. Yeah, but I got four people that hired on after me. They're no longer with us, either. Brian, trust me, I want to keep you, but my hands are tied. I argued with corporate for them to let me keep you. But I have three other people over you that I have to have the same talk with. What am I supposed to do? I... Wait a second, when is this happening? Well, they didn't even give us much notice either. But when is this happening? Monday, as of Monday. You'll clean your desk out today, take everything home. We're going to pay you for the full day Monday, but then that's it. I really am sorry. here. I got canned too. You know, they cut my whole department. Lost a lot of stuff. We had to short sell the house. Oh my gosh, that place was awesome. We overbought, man. Just kidding ourselves. Uh, it's just a house. Hey, we got a jet. It'll all work out, man. When all else fails, still have our families, right? Yeah, right. So, are you coming with us or not? No. I'm just gonna stay here. You guys have fun, though. Babe, you've got to get out of this slump. 
Your son wants his dad back, and I want my husband back. Well, if I could have my job back, then maybe I wouldn't be having this problem. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I've never been in this situation before. Neither have we. You need to remember whether you have a job or not. You still have a family. You can't just sit around and be depressed and feeling sorry for yourself all day and completely neglect us. I'm not neglecting you. You're not? What? No, everything I've done has been for you since we got married. And then Josh, when he was born, you're going to throw at me that I'm neglecting you? Yes, I am. You never play with Josh anymore or tell him stories. You're sleeping on the couch. This has to stop. I can't fix this situation that I'm in, okay? You're in? That's exactly what I mean. We are in this. Well, then how are we going to get out of it? I've tried everything. Every field, every job fair, everything. We have nothing left. We used all our savings. It's gone. And we had to trade the cars in for these pieces of crap we have in the driveway. And what about the house? We're on the verge of losing the house. You just can't sit around the house and mope all day. Well, maybe I just need a break, that's all. From us? Yeah, maybe. Look, no, look. We're gonna stay over at Grandpa's house tonight, okay? So you can have some time to think or do whatever it is you need to do. Great. Josh, sweetie, let's go. Daddy's not going to be coming with us today, okay? Okay. Let's go. Again? This is how we do it in Sonora, California. Well, I'm your host, Becky Hurley, saying goodbye and good luck. Hey, Vince, my man. Brian. You know, I was just thinking, uh, it's been forever since we've done something. I mean, since we had to cancel our cruise. I know, man. It's been like two and a half years since we did our Yosemite Falls hike. Are you serious? Life happened, man. Hey, Jason. 
Brian's on the phone. Come over here. What's up, Brian? How are things, man? Hey, the reason I'm calling is I'm trying to recruit you guys to, uh, to our next adventure. Cool. Tell us about it. Check this out. I think this is an adventure that can be profitable. Place? Yeah, it's jacked up. I mean, look at this place. It looks like it's gonna fall <laughs> they, apart. They didn't find very much gold. You think they would have fixed this place up? I mean, hey, did they even have nails when they built <laughs> look, this place? Huh? Yeah, golden nails, dude. They had nails. <laughs> it's it's the authentic rustic feeling. Oh, uh, very rustic. Yeah, huh? very authentic. No, like the times in the gold rush. They're trying to make it more for the tours. The people feel like they're back in the 1940s or whenever it was. The 49. Yeah, it was built in 49. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. 1849. Look, besides, they were a lot cheaper than the guys I saw on TV, okay? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Hey, I do see a few nails. Yeah, we're going to be okay, huh? <laughs> oh, here you go. Don't forget the gold pan. You got it. Boys here for the tour? That is recent. Yeah, um, where do we sign in or pay or whatever? Yeah, um, my brother will take care of that. Ricky! Got some more out here. Thirty dollars. Just three hours. After that, you're on your own. We need to get three pans too. It's... Um, do you have any new ones? These are new. Okay, um, all right, they gonna work all right? Why wouldn't they? They're new. Yeah, okay. Do you think we could get a receipt? No. We, we don't need a receipt, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. All right, everybody, let's head them up. And move them out, huh? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Because doggy's rolling, though they're disapproving.
what do you think those guys are talking about? Yeah, I don't know, man, but they are creepy. Yeah. Oh, man. Looks like we're out of cell service. <laughs> Who cares, man? <laughs> it's not like you're waiting for some girl to call you. Uh, I like to check my Facebook. <laughs> oh, gee. Okay, everybody. Let's go get rich, huh? Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Okay, folks, this is the treacherous part here, so be careful, help each other. How'd you find out what this place again? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Dude, we're gold miners. Okay, folks, make yourselves comfortable. It's gonna get real bright out here, a lot of sun, so be careful. Man, this is nice. Stay hydrated. Now, this is where we're down to. That dark earth right there. You see, you swirl it around, get a lot of this gravelly stuff out of there, but you'll find the gold there in that black earth. That's what you want, right there. See, see, see? That's where the gold is. That's what you're looking for. Don't drink the water out of the river, though, because they got this little thing called a giardia. Now, before I let you folks go, they say that over 70% of California's gold is still around here somewhere. So some of you might still find some more flakes, maybe even some little nuggets. If you're not going back with us, good luck in your searching. Try not to start any forest fires if you're camping overnight. Any questions? I got one. If there's that much gold out here, how come there aren't more people looking for it? Now that, my friends, is a very, very good question. Truth is, there's some mighty rugged terrain out there. There's been talk for years about people disappearing and going missing. It might be just because Folks come up here and they don't know what they're doing. There's also been a lot of talk for a long time about something out there. Something that people just don't want to run into. Let me put it this way. If you're not careful what you're doing out there, you don't get hurt from them again. <laughs> like Sasquatch running around eating people. Maybe. What they say though is something in the water. It runs real deep. Happy hunting. Try not to let the gold fever get you. Good luck, folks. Hey, wait, Larry. What? Where was Ricky going earlier? Nowhere. What do you mean, nowhere? We saw him go up river. Okay, um, yeah, he was investigating some suspicious activity upstream a few weeks back. You know, it's really nothing that you need to be concerned with. Just stay right around here, close to the road, you'll be fine. Well, what kind of suspicious stuff was he... Okay, look, I just said, if you're not careful out there with whatever's out there, you don't get heard from again. Around here, or close to the road, you'll be fine. Hey, Dad! Is that true? Are there really monsters out here? No, son, there's no monsters out here. These guys say stuff like that all the time. It's just to scare people. It's just for fun. Dad, can we do something that's not lame? I want some ice cream. That's good. Hey, and just in case, we're going to be staying the night tonight. Yeah. Just in case of what? I don't know. We get lost. We're not going to get lost. Okay, well, it's nice meeting you guys. Come on, son. Whatever, I'm not leaving till I find a nugget. I don't want to get eaten by a Bigfoot.
Hey, Vince. What? You find anything yet? No. How about you, Jason? No. Wait. Wait, I, I think I got something. <laughs> oh yeah, I got something. Some rocks and some sand. <laughs> You guys bought it so hard. Come on, man. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Yeah, I'm dude. just kidding around, man. Look, I just really want to find some gold, okay? I, this is supposed to be about having fun, having an adventure. Camping, right? Yeah, but look, I'm all wet. I fell in the freaking river. You should have seen your face, man. <laughs> yeah. It I'm was sorry, funny. I couldn't help it. <laughs> anyway, I'm all wet and no gold. Okay? Look, I just, I saw the guy on TV. He found this fat nugget. It was like 5,000 bucks, man. I could really use some... Look, I could just really use some good luck in my life right now, all right? That was pretty funny, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll admit it. That's what I'm saying, man. Don't get all crazy on me. Hey, <laughs> if we find any gold, we'll give you some, bro. All right? Deal. Deal. You know, I really don't think this is a good spot, though. Well, if you think about it, all the tourists come here, right? The tours take place in this spot. I mean, they're gonna find all the gold. That's a good point. I think we should go up the way we saw Ricky going. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, you're a lair. We're getting shanked by some wilderness monster. <laughs> well, then let's go find a place to set up camp before it gets dark. Well, we can do that. Let's go up the way we saw him go, and then we'll keep an eye out for something. Well, let's kind of stay by the road, you know. Well, whatever, I thought this was some kind of adventure. I mean, what, are we gonna just play around in the kiddie pool all day long or what? All right, let's go. I'm game. Let's go. Come on. It's probably Larry and Ricky's secret makeout spot, and they don't want anyone to interrupt them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Larry and Ricky, now that's some big love in there. They could have a kid, we should call it La Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> La Ricky. <laughs> This place is awesome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? What do you mean, what? This is it, man. What? Rumor has it, there's something in the water where it runs real deep. Deep water? Yeah, I get what you're saying. This is it. This is Lariki's makeout spot. <laughs> well, look, whatever it is, it's going to be a good place to camp. Let's stay here tonight. Yeah, it's cool. It's beautiful. I like it. Hey, but before we get settled, let's get a picture. All right, everyone say La Ricky. La, La Ricky. Ricky. Oh, that looks good, dude. That's one of my things. I think I found some gold! Come here! Look at this! Yes! Yes! I found another one! Come on, man! You're not the only one, buddy. I just found one, too. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Freak, dude! Come on! Why can't I find any gold? I 
got one! <laughs> you must have found some kind of vein or something, some kind of gold vein! <laughs> <laughs> it was huge. I'm telling you, Blue Flame Ave is underwater. I've never laughed so hard in my life. <laughs> oh, man. Scout camp. Scout camp. I thought you guys were supposed to be earning merit badges and stuff like that at Scout Camp. <laughs> it was a merit. <laughs> She's awesome. You know, we got our two-year anniversary coming up in just a few months. It's already been that long, huh? Gosh, it was about two years ago that we were first starting talking about going on that cruise, huh? Yeah, the one you bailed on. Like I could do anything about that. He lost his job, man. Give him a break. Yeah, well, you still could have gone. Don't act like you didn't have the means to go with your big house and your fancy car. I thought you traded those in. We did. We had to trade them in. If we didn't trade them in for cheaper cars, they were going to get repoed. I thought you told me something like that. I didn't know, man. I, I just thought you didn't worry about that kind of stuff like us. Don't worry about it, man. Besides, I'll, uh, I'll be getting it all back here real soon, huh? I'll be paying for it in gold. <laughs> Man, two years, huh? This is it all you thought it was cracked up to be? It's great being married. You should try it, Jason. No way, man. It's a single life for me. I don't want no woman taking away my freedom. Speaking of freedom, I need to go water the plant life, so... Can you see the flashlight? I don't know, Vince. We're going on seven years, Jen and I, and it's just... I don't know, it just doesn't feel the same anymore. What are you saying? I mean, aren't you the one that used to tell us that, you know, marriage and family life was so good? I mean, when I look at you and Jen, or at least when I looked at you and Jen, you know, I thought that's how I wanted my marriage to be. Look, don't put that on me, man. I'm not perfect. And it just seems like everything changed. It changed from being something great to all these expectations, all these things of me having a Take care of this, take care of that, do this, do that. Josh wants this, Jen wants that. I don't know, I just feel like I'm not being able to do anything that I want to do that makes me happy anymore. Sounds like we got a fish out there. Yeah. <laughs> that guy, dude. He's funny. He's funny. Ah, much better. Deer cotton headlights. Ah. Oh my gosh, dude! Did you see that, dude? What the heck was that, man? Brian, you saw that, right? Dude, come on, man. You guys didn't see anything? No, I can't see anything. You put the flashlight in my eyes. Dude, I see something over there, dude. I saw it. Was it a fish? I mean, we saw a fish earlier when you were up watering the plants. Dude, you saw the ripples, right? Look, maybe uh, the fire's getting to us. Maybe we ought to just get to bed, get some rest. We got all day tomorrow to get rich, right? We're gonna need all the energy we can muster up. So, I'm gonna go to bed. This morning, pretty big. I saw some some pretty big ripples. Yeah, that was pretty weird last night, huh? I 
must have been tripping out on something. Okay, folks. Welcome. It's a beautiful day, great weather. It's gonna be great. Look out, kids. There might be some pirates trying to get your gold. Let's all go get rich, huh? What do you say? Let's do it! Hey, Brian, I'm gonna have to take it back. Take what back? You know, when I said if we found any gold, I was gonna hook you up. That's cold, man. I mean, you haven't even given them anything yet. I'm about to claim the same thing, though. Brian, you got some sort of good technique with that pan or something, dude? Look at all that gold. Right this way, folks. Here we go. Watch your step here, please. It can be pretty precarious. Hey, why don't you slow down and save some for us? No way, man. It's every man for himself. At least show us your technique so we can find gold quicker. Forget that, man. I'm not slowing down for anybody. Are you serious? Come on, man. There's plenty of gold for everybody. You're gonna find more than you need. It's not like we're gonna steal your gold. I might. Fine. Dude, I'm just kidding around. No, don't even worry about it. I'll show you exactly what you're doing wrong. Okay, everybody, here we go. See you down at the river. I'll meet you right, right down there. Be careful. Man. Some big nuggets, some really some big, big ones. Oh, Make yeah. a whole board. I got a good hey. feeling about today. Bye, me too. Have a good feeling. I'm going to get some little moss. Be careful. I cannot believe you talked me into this. There's probably snakes all around. You better find some gold. And then you're taking me to the diamond mine so you can have me a ring made. I kid you not. You better make this real. I thought this was gonna be fun. Come on, boo! Don't come on, boo, me. Well, I don't see anybody. They're not down there either. You want me to go looking for them? No, there's too many people here. I need your help. You better not have to go looking for those three idiots. Hey, Dad. Where's uh, Brian? Um, he went, uh, he went camping with some friends to go look for gold. <laughs> he should be looking for a job. Look at all this. How much do you think all this is worth? I don't know, man. I mean, this is this is huge. I, I'd say we probably got more than $30,000 worth of gold between us. Hey, when I said we took Brian up, I didn't think we'd find anything. <laughs> me either. That's cool with me because when you fools are back at home slaving away <laughs> for the man at your jobs, I'm going to be right back up here getting pile after pile. <laughs> that's so crazy, dude. That could be like your full-time job. Yeah, that's for sure. I just gotta remember how to get back up here, though. And you gotta remember not to tell anybody about this place. I mean, imagine if somebody knew where this place was. There'd be no gold left. That's for sure. Last thing we want up here is a bunch of people. Well, you guys know I got some bills to pay. Some nice cars to get back. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a motorcycle, too. What are you guys gonna do? I'm gonna pimp my ride. <laughs> no, come on, serious. I'm probably going to pay off my car, and then buy another car, and then go on that cruise that you're talking about. That'd be good. What about you, Vince? I'm definitely going to give my wife a great two-year anniversary. Hawaii, maybe. And I'm going to keep a nugget, too. I mean, it, it may sound kind of dumb, but I've actually kept a rock from every trip I've been on since I was a little kid. That's cool, dude. I think I'm going to do the same thing. Well, I got mine. Unless I find some fat gold nugget tomorrow, like 
like this big. And then I'm gonna put some fat gold nugget bling all around my neck. Flavor Flav style. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor Flav, that's good, man. Oh yeah, boy! And with that, we better get some sleep. We only got a couple hours tomorrow to find more gold and then we gotta hike back home. And this stuff is heavy, so we need all the rest we can get. <laughs> all right, let's pack this stuff up. Real funny, Vince. Knock it off, man. Get up, man. Get up. What's going on? I don't know. Something's wrong. Someone was throwing rocks at the tent. I thought it was Vince. I think he's in some kind of trouble, man. Let's go. Vince, you think he's in trouble? Look, I don't have time to explain. Let's go. Okay. Grab the gold. Vince? I don't know, man. Just look anywhere you can for him, all right? Vince! Vince, where are you, man? It's not funny. Come on, dude, where are you? What the fuck is your problem? What are you doing to me? What are you talking about? I'm over here trying to take a dump. You know how hard it is to take a dump when everybody's yelling your name? I got stage fright. I'm not gonna be like, hey guys, come check me out. Taking a dump over here. A little privacy. So it was you throwing rocks at the tent before. Before what? We're coming to handle your business. No, no, it wasn't him. That's what I'm saying. It was something else. I don't know what, though. What are you talking about? Okay, look, I woke up to the sound of these rocks hitting the tent, right? I thought it was you messing around with us, so I got up to check it out. And they looked a lot like the rocks that I had thrown in the water last night, and I'm telling you now, I know that they are. You know how crazy you sound? Yeah, look, I know. I thought the same thing. That's impossible, right? But when I was looking for you, this big rock, all wet, landed right by the tent, right by me. Dude, that's the Flavor Flav rock. You threw that in the water last night. Yeah. There's got to be an explanation for this. Yeah, well, let's figure it out. No, I just saw ripples, but I could tell something happened in the water. I just didn't know... What the... Howdy, boys. What's going on, Larry? Do you have any idea how many years our family's been up here looking for a place like this with this much gold? What do you mean, our family? <sighs> hey, what's going on here, guys? This isn't funny. Well, I'll tell you why it ain't funny. Because we ain't joking. <laughs> we were joking, it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no. We've been up here since the gold rush. That's over 150 years. Looking for a place like this? 
the spot that would absolutely change everything. My father, grandpa, even grandma. How long you been out here spying on us? Shut up. You've been out here the whole time trying to scare us away from this spot, haven't you? That's I what said, shut up. You got it? Take off your pack. You heard him. Give me your pack. Oh, it's heavy. What you got in here, boy? hell is this? That's the rock you tried to scare us with this morning. That's just Shut the up that unless I ask you a question. But you did ask me a question. You don't listen too well, do you, boy? Get out of the way. <sighs> Tie him up. Hi, Jen. Hey, Lori, what's going on? Oh, not much. I heard there was a storm passing through Sonora, and I was a little bit worried about the guys. Do you think they'll be okay? Yeah, they'll be fine. I'm sure if it gets too bad, they'll head home. What's wrong? You sound upset. <laughs> things have been a little tough lately. <laughs> Brian's not handling things too well, and it's a... Uh, not been very much fun for Josh and I. All right, well, if you need anything, you know you can call me, right? I do, Lori. Thanks. Bye. Are you okay, Mommy? I'm fine, sweetie. You guys probably made up all that crap about a monster just to keep people away from this place. I bet no one's ever even disappeared. No. No, they have. What? Yeah, this guy and his brother went missing like a month or two ago. I saw it on one of those flyers at their place. Oh, yeah. Two city boys. Yeah, they listen just about as well as you idiots. What'd you do to them? Now, that really doesn't make much difference to you now, does it? What about all the other people? All the flyers I saw? So what, did you kill them too? Hey, nobody said anything about killing anybody. Truth is, Mother Nature took care of the people. I mean, they really did just disappear. That's how we came up with the whole monster story idea. People have been talking for decades about something up here. Frankly, I think it was just some damn drunk saw uh, Big giant bullfrog. <laughs> That's our monster! Big bullfrog! <laughs> See, we've been looking for generations for a place with this much gold. Definitely my whole life. Ain't that right, Ricky? Right. Well, we finally found the spot. The spot with all the gold. Unfortunately for those city boys, they found it too, about a week later. How's that for irony? So you killed them? They didn't deserve our gold. They didn't deserve to die. Uh -uh. We don't deserve to die. No. Then you should have listened when I said, if you don't watch what you're doing when you're up here, you don't get heard from again. That creature story was working real well for the last little while. Nobody wanted to stick around here too long and especially not stay overnight. That way we could keep our tour business going and keep gold fools like you away from our claim. There's plenty of gold. You, you you can't kill us. They'll come looking for us. Here, just take all the gold. We're not going to tell anybody. Just let us go. Yeah, that's about as good a story as that monster bullfrog, isn't it?
I told you there's something funny about these guys, Larry. But you never listen. Ricky, would you just shut your mouth? Guys, look, someone's got to do something. I think I can help run both of these guys. See, that's what I'm talking about, Larry. You're always cutting me off. I say things that matter all the time. If you're going to do it, you better do it right now. Okay. Well, go get him! Run, run, go, run! Run, run, run! Get this guy's shotgun, run! Get out of the way! Shut up! <laughs> This just means that your boy is going to be the first one to die. Going at boy. You think you hurt me? Come back here. stuff to scare us. What are you talking about? The first night. I saw something in the water. What was it? Son, we haven't been up here until this morning. Shouldn't have started running. I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Hey, Larry! Up here! Look what I found! <laughs> Dude, he's alive. You did good, Ricky! <laughs> You're all wet! What are you doing on the wrong side of the river? I had to swim across to chase him. This fool jumped in the river. I had to go in after him. Hey, I thought there was an easier way to cross. You should have seen the way we crossed last time. There's no way we're going back that way. No, no, there's an easier route about 200 more yards upstream. You should have seen this dumbass try to fight me. He hit me with a stick. I wanted to shoot him, but I didn't want to carry him. I already 
dug the hole and stuff. You done good, Ricky, you did it. Okay, sounds good. Oh, okay. See you when you get back down here. Don't move. We're okay. Jason, right? Jason's your name? Look, you're the smartest one of the group, Stop obviously. Stop talking. Stop talking. Come on, Brian. You can do this. You got it. Okay, this isn't funny. Well, I'm not joking. Come on, Brian. Ah! All right, uh, Jason, I, I'm just going to check on my brother, okay? Okay, Ricky. Ricky! Ricky! Swim! Come on, man! You guys, you guys just see that? What was that? I don't know, man, but it got me too. I'll be uh, fine, man. That was crazy. We gotta get out of here. Do you have the keys to the car? Yeah, I got them. What about the gold? Bring it with us. What? Larry was carrying the backpack when he went into the water. Well then, forget it. I've been a real jerk lately, you guys. I'm sorry. I forgot the most important things. We're alive. What about the gold? I don't need it. I don't need it. I know what I need now. And I should have known the whole time. You guys, we gotta get out of here, man. I need to get to a hospital. Brian, hey, have you been out here all night? What time did you go to sleep? I don't know. 
Did you write the whole story in one night? I guess I did. Daddy, Daddy, good morning. Be careful. Hey, sweetie. buddy, good morning. Daddy, you haven't told me the rest of the story. Oh, well, you were asleep, that's why. Oh, yeah, I was tired. <laughs> yeah, you were, I'll tell you what. When you get older, I will tell you all the rest of the story, okay? Okay. Now, I'm hungry, are you hungry? Yeah. What do you want to eat for breakfast? Ch <laughs> All right, we'll go with mommy, okay? No one will ever believe that. Well, I think you can use. I didn't get any of that, say it again. You irritate me. <laughs> okay, see the line. <laughs> 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 That's how I was going to say how that for irony. <laughs>
I have one sour candy, please? Dang, what happened to your face? You should have seen the other guy. What happened to him? He's dead. Thanks. <laughs> hey, you forgot your change. Mm-hmm. <laughs>